flexibility, agility, lethality. With all that it delivers, the FNA-18 and its highly trained air crew offer the world's premier weapon system. Equipped with Raytheon state-of-the-art sensors and weapon systems, the FNA-18 is assured mission success in the most challenging and hostile of environments. With an array of both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground sensors and weapons built by the Raytheon company, the FNA-18 remains the world's preeminent weapon system. The following scenarios will demonstrate the operational capabilities of the FNA-18 weapon system and follow an air crew through three notional missions. The first day of the conflict, war at sea. Day three, a deep air support mission. Concluding on day five with a close air support mission. Tasked with destroying a small flotilla of ships off a hostile coast, our strike package completes their final combat checks and begins their ingress to the target area. Equipped with the ALR 67V3 radar warning receiver, the Super Hornet crew has unsurpassed situational awareness of the threat radar systems. The crew has previously deployed an ALE 50 towed decoy to enable the defeat of the enemy's radar guided missiles. With the enemy's surface to air missile defeated, the fight has just begun. Armed with the AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation or harm missile, the FNA-18 crew quickly targets the enemy radar site and employs the harm. With the enemy radar site disabled, the strike package continues inbound to the objective, on the lookout for any additional enemy threats that may be part of an enemy integrated air defense umbrella. Outfitted with the most advanced tactical airborne radar in the world, nothing can escape the Super Hornet's APG-79 Active Electronically Scanned Array, or AESA radar. Fully integrating the APG-79 AESA radar and AT FLIR pod, the Super Hornet can simultaneously track air and ground targets. With the AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, or AMRAM in flight, air superiority is soon to follow. With the enemy threat suppressed and eliminated for the time being, the strike fighters seamlessly transition to their air-to-ground role and prepare to employ the Joint Standoff Weapons, or JSOWs.